to Farming Simulator 19 here on Medicine Creek 19. Folks, we finally got a uh, option to do some field work on uh, field 27. Uh, let's jump in here real quick. Man, yeah, we need to fertilize ours too. But here we go, field 27 fertilizing, 182,458. Oh, folks, that's... That is awesome. It's got a lot of weeds in it, so we're going to be hurting when we go to buy this field. All right, I'm just going to line up straight here, and I'm a high worker. There we go. We're just going to let him do his thing. We'll come back, check on him every once in a while. And I just want to show you all this. Um, the... Let me get out and get back in. It's Volvo L90F. Um, yeah, it's it costs us a pretty penny. But we got it to... Even got a hitch and some weights on the back. Uh, but we got it to lift the bales. As you can see, we're putting them in fours. And we are... Our, uh, wheel loader up over there. Which this is ours too. Just bought it, but... This is mainly going to be for cotton, but I got thinking, you know, instead of bells forks, I should have got the three-point linkage that goes from here to, uh, from wheel loader to three-point, and I probably could have used a thing on the back of the 8R over there, but anyway, uh, here comes the cotton pickers, they're still working. Um, let's see, I did, I did get four, right? One, two, three, four. Yep, we got two back there. I'm just going to let them be. And we also got, because they, they probably would drop a couple more off there. Uh, I'm going to get that and to put there. So I'm going to ease on down here to grab this. I, wanna, I just want to show you what this in here. But well, folks, how y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Oh, I'm, I'm doing hunky dory. I'm doing hunky dory. Uh, I want to. Why I am uh, getting set up for this? I want to give a big shout out to Christy Nicola for uh, um, supporting the Mister Blue family, aka y'all. What I'm doing is sliding my forks in and out, as you can see right there. But this thing, when you go to pick up, it, it just it wants to turn them over. So what I'm doing, I'm closing the forks about to there and going at the bottom. And as you can see it, it'll stab it and lift it up. And voila. That's how we do it. Um I really don't know how they do it out here. I, I think they just use like the, the attachment on the back of the ARX. I'm trying to find. I think I'm gonna go over here and start another another four. And you just go up to it like this here. But yeah, y'all go down below. Uh, find Christy Nicola and go support her, folks. Uh, she's an awesome family member of the channel and um, yeah we gotta help each other out and right right here is gonna be her face or not Facebook uh, YouTube channel all right and this right here is her playlist one of them just folks we can help each other out on these playlists uh, for the ones that's um that don't have data limits on their stuff you going to bed like you going to bed or take a nap or something just go ahead and uh let that playlist play uh that's what she's doing for me and plus 
other support and folks let's let's support each other let's make that playlist play it and stuff and it helps each other out so well but anyway as you can see here i got four inside there and you can see the bottom right it says four bales 100 percent well we're going to do a little bit of something different we're going to go ahead and, uh we're going to say this is jordan um his wife does uh, ET designs. I, I think she's still doing it or got that name. Um, but anyway, uh, Jordan is a is a trailer truck driver, so I'm like I'm gonna add him in because he helps me out a lot too, and she does. Um, so we're going we're going to say Jordan's driving this, and I got auto drive. If you can see it here, I'll try to zoom in so you can see it. But we, uh, Field 5 West Side Corner, as I got it labeled there. You can see it right there in the green. Um, we want that to, let's put it to cotton storage. And we're going to drive, okay, can't reach cotton storage. Let me pop up on the, uh, well it should reach, let's, let's uh, oh now this is making me mad. It worked earlier, got in storage again, turn that off, and we're going to turn that on. Okay, maybe I need to move up past this or something, I don't know what's going on, it worked. La uh, other day when I was getting some of these bales up going huh okay well I don't know I've been having troubles with this map quite a bit so we're just going to turn that off and we're going to close that and we're going to do our famous uh, course play I really don't know, folks. I really don't know. Anyway, I'm going to drive this myself. Temporary. There we go. Um, I'm going to get that open back up. And I want to see why. that I can't make it. I think it probably has to do with my last course. But anyway, folks, I'll be back in just a second. It's already eight minutes. Good Lord. All right, be right back. All right, folks, I figured out what was wrong. You can see this blue line right here. Oh, I don't want that open. But this blue line right here, I clicked this in and then clicked this in. And that made this section here go this away. Well, you can see the little arrow pointing there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it. That arrow's meant to go this way, right? Well, I clicked. Oh, wrong mouse. I clicked on this and then to this and, and it made this little section here go backwards. Right now, auto drive is just one way compatible. And they're talking about making it where both lanes, you can make it go either way. But some of y'all that's doing auto drive, you click on this and, and then that, and they'll make that go that way. So I'm going to back up. And you see I'm two or three courses in. See that arrow there? Okay. Uh, Elizabeth completed her con her task, but anyway, uh, you don't have to have this on. All that does is pop up the lines, but you can hit um, drive now, and as you can see, it's going. And what I did is uh, just that line right there messed up for all of them. I thought it was on down here at the shop, but yeah that's a big but 
and I cannot deny. Oh wait, wait, wait. But as you can see right here, I made this and go straight that way. It goes to the market shop, and then this is where it goes back. So we got a course going that way. But this guy, Jordan, Jordan, you gonna be going to the cotton storage, brother? And here we are at the cotton storage. So I'm gonna get this guy to go. Um, it's gonna be Field Five, West Side Corner. That's where he's gonna be going. And we're gonna do that, and he'll start up and start driving. Now that's where I'm gonna hop out, and I'm gonna fly a little bit. This is a mod, folks, that I put down. Uh, as you can see there, I made the roads a little. Oh, oh no, Jordan's a nut. Who's in that? That's probably Jason. Uh, which Jordan and Jason are brothers. Uh, and Jason's a little bit more wild, I guess you can say. Jason, if you're uh, watching this, hello, cuz. But uh, we come in here, we put some asphalt down on this side here. And uh, here's the gate in, and over here's the gate out. Um, Lumberyard said they would prefer to have gravel, so we put gravel down. And here's the sell point for the cotton. And uh, that lean tube right there is empty, so I don't know if we could do storage in there or not. But this storage over here, as you can see, we already got four of our bales three in that and one in that. Um, this, we can store it. And reason why I want to say that. Uh, let's go over here. We're going to check our cotton prices. Um, cotton selling station price is low right now. And Gout, Gout Cora is second to the highest. And that's across the road, which they said we could store it there as long as we want till you know whenever we decide to sell it and they're going to be doing the other customers the same way so but yeah uh down the road they got a pretty good price for cotton i'm thinking about going ahead and selling a load or two there uh we might take our big semi big semi you might ask yes folks big semi um yeah i gotta turn this off uh or I accidentally make a thing out here yeah but anyway this is one loader here's our other truck going oh wow he, he's Jordan's getting on down he's on fast cow the east side cows okay uh oh oh man why did you turn around I, I just I don't just don't know folks all right we're gonna get back to them here in a second and here's our case and as you can see that one right over there needs one more bell this one doesn't lift them like it should that's all the way up right there as far as tilting back I, I can't live higher I wouldn't want that to fall that high. And this thing is squirrely early. Squirrely early, I tell you. There we go. That's about close enough. Lay all the pressure off. Back up. All right. The reason why I got two of them out here and it's only me is just make it look more. Um, you can see that one right there. I'll probably take it down there and grab one of those others but we do have one more truck that's got bales on it folks and it's a double double trailer semi and I'm going to show you all that here in just a second we'll get this on down here
What am I doing? There's four there already. It's that. And as you can see, I got some troubles fixing to happen. They're blocking each other. That's just what I thought. We'll let him go ahead. I gotta find out how much he's got left in him. His reason for this is the last of the cotton. And folks, we we uh, about ready to make an bell airplane crop duster going across in real life and, and no folks that wasn't on here I was in real life okay when this gets about 80 I think no 90 I'm trying to watch the uh, two gauges down at the bottom down there turn off as you can see we are making another bell back up just a little quick here and this is where we uh, lose cotton so I'm gonna pull this over to the side right here and we're going to come back to that real quick. Okay, our truck stopped right here, so that's good. That's that's real good. Um, we got we got quite a few in this first one here, so I'm gonna go ahead and unload here, and y'all get to see this. Well, I actually post to pull up as we unload, but as you can see, cotton bells are automatically going in, which that's fine. We can't be too realistic, but back up, push it. All right, we got one that don't want to go in. We can solve that problem. Auto lift. There we go. All right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bales up here so far. Now I want to show you all the inside of these trucks too. They're pretty awesome. Lizard brand, but hey, it it's, it's works, right? All right, now I do have this course to go around this building, but I know it won't because it hung up on me last time I used it. But you can make it through here. And then we can go out this way. Now this is where I have to change my setting here to field five, west side corner. And hit drive button. And off it goes. Uh, where are you going? Oh, oh, ho, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. He just went right on by. Okay. I'll right, get him back to the shop, or back to the field, folks. Be right back. All right. I made it back out here, and that cotton picker got done. I guess uh, Christy got done with that strip, and, and now we have to... Put this sucker in operating position and back up. And for some reason, it wants to do that. It can't be realistic. No, 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 no. And now my neighbor's mowing the yard. Huh. Oh, that's, I need to be out there weeding. But y'all should be seeing this on a Wednesday. Uh, so, uh, happy hump day to y'all.
All right, folks, there's our... Now back to transport and position. That's our four bales there. As you can see, we got lots to go. Um, this one, I'm going to make them head back to the uh, cotton storage. And as you can see right there, right there, right there, we have 18 bales, I think. Three, six, nine, yep. And that's a double trailer. Uh, the first trailer has a fifth wheel on the back. So that, that makes it pretty good there. Okay, cotton storage. We are driving. And we are hopping out. Jordan, be careful. Be careful, Jordan. Oh. But yeah, this uh it's a mod. I, I can't remember who it's by, but uh it's awesome mod. It's auto load. I've got three, six, nine. Got these little uh, uh supports in the middle to keep them from rolling around and stuff. And we have a be right back folks. Alright, we are back again. Sorry about the interrupted phone call. Um, that's a local food bank saying they've got some food they're going to be giving out uh, this Thursday between 9 and 11. So if you're in the Osceola area and you're a senior citizen, um, yeah, get you a, a food box. Okay, I don't know exactly where I need to take this, so I'm going to, oh, wrong one, go in here, it's going to auto-save, uh, we want to, that says highest one, so right in here, it'll be Chalu, Chalu, or how you pronounce it, is the highest, uh, our cotton sale point is just there so I don't know we'll do that or not we might be transporting these baby for another what about $320 more yeah now where's her oh come on now I can't take that in there okay so <laughs> oh I don't know where I can unload these at let's see if we can fit this ain't really realistic. I thought it's going to be somewhere out on the side. All right, let's see here. What trailer am I on back? Let's get to the front. Unload bales. Unload bales here. And of course, it's not taking them. And I'm stuck. Okay. Um, there we go. We got them all loaded back up. And I'm still stuck. What am I stuck on? Trailer holding me? Might be the trailer holding me. Let's just see. This is going to be very unrealistic, folks. <gasps> oh, I didn't want to be that unrealistic. Not right there. Let's see if that'll help. Oh, yeah. All right. We are going to uh, make note that we can't sell them here. And uh, we'll take these to the cotton uh, storage and we're going to sell them there because we need some money. Hopefully that price will come back up. All right, be back in a minute, folks. All right, I caught this guy. He hit the fence. I think this is Jordan, but we're not going to blame that on Jordan. We're going to blame that on auto drive because I'm one that created the, uh, the waypoint. All right, we're going to unload bells. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, too late now. I was going to sell these and store the oven. Okay, that's all the bells. Let's get in here and see. Okay, so it's starting a new row. 
There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? Three, six, nine. Yep. So nine per row. Okay. And we can go right here and open the menu. And we can get five out at a time. Uh, capacity 72. We got 10 in there. So, yeah. We, we might be able to fill these two up. All right, get this truck out of the way before the oven gets here, so. I should have hit the reverse and come out this way with uh, auto drive. It would probably have been a lot better instead of doing all that other. Now, let's do this right here and drive course. And I'm going to hop out for a minute. Okay, other trucks parked, that's good. This truck's leaving. I got another truck somewhere. Uh, this one just popped out of fail. And we got a little over 2,000 liters in there. Um, let me be right back, folks. I'm going to get down here, do some math, and see where we're at. And uh, I'll bring you right back. Okay, folks, this one here has got 1,327 in it, and this one here has got 2,471, so this one here has got more cotton, and that is not the bell size, that's what's in the compressed chamber, so as we get going here, see how it made another one, and get where you can see it. See how there's two lines now, and the top one's filling, and the bottom one's not, it's just holding. The bottom one is your bale. Oh, I need to get back on track here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hire a worker, and hopefully, hopefully everything goes right. So, I'm gonna say, well, what are we gonna do with the cotton in here? Well, Earlier, I made a 10,000 liter bale on accident. We go in here to the easy to open commands, go over to your tractor symbol, and you can see right here it says cotton, cotton 2, diesel, def, cotton, cotton 2. We're going to hit enter, and that's 2,500 liters. So you can see now that it's not quite a bell yet, right? It's just a quarter of a main bell. That's your chamber. Go in here again, and it's the, the cotton two. Click that. And you can see it's going into your other bell. So now we have a half of a bell. Well, I'm not going to accept this bell because. I done made a 10,000 liter bell on accident. If I hit her up, oh, yep, it was. So, we're going to take this guy to the other end, or up here by the grain tanks anyway. Now, these two right here, you're probably saying, well, why, where's the other two? These two we own. I let the other two go back, and um, that's when I messed up on that 10,000 liter bell is you know I thought I was going I like this a little bit from filling off and I went over and I'm like well you know, I made a mistake so I went in the F11 and I hit this right here so what I'm going to do is delete that I'm going to empty out and you see I have zero in there now so that was basically what a thousand something liters that went bye bye. I am going to park these guys right here or this one anyway and have a look inside. This is the uh, the cotton picker, folks. It's the uh, CP690, the modded one. And we, we need this guy here. Oh, okay, he's going on through, so he's doing his thing. Oh, he's even making a bell. 
So we're going to let him finish this here. We're going to see how much is left in there when he gets done. We might add, we might take away. Uh, like I said, I've got a 10,000 liter bale. I've been trying to keep track of it. So we just basically 8,000 liters is what we added extra. But we'll find out more about it when we get done with this section here, which I will bring you back to. Right now, I'm trying to find my uh, semi truck. It might be right here waiting on us. Yeah, he's here waiting on us. Okay, good. We're going to start him up. I don't know if I can back out of here. <laughs> anyway, we're going to unload bales. And then we can take, slide them over like this. As you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And unload bales here. Wham! They all went in there. Yes, folks, that's the magic of auto load. I'm going to go to a second trailer. Get about here. We're going to unload bales here. We're going to slide them over. Which we can uh, slide them down. We can unload them like that. Or we can make it's about as high as we can go. So, And uh, unload here. And bam! Take those tension straps off. Jordan needs to be driving this. And, and he, he can back trailers real good. Well, I can back the single ones. I, I just don't know about the double ones. Done so far, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too, too much, too much. All right, let's get them going this way. If you take it slow, you can pretty much do it. All right. Oh, man, I was going to sell those, wasn't I? All right, I'll get some more up here. We'll sell them. Maybe now I'll do that in the next episode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell the bells in the next episode, folks. I'm sorry about that. And uh, oh, I don't want that. Once I get course play or not course play, auto drive figured out real good. We probably will get rid of uh, course play. Cause auto drive is so much more easier. It's easier to edit and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, I, I know this ain't realistic. I know I said we used to do it in the other one. But you know what? We're, we're going to be... Hey, what? I could have sworn that said five earlier. Oh, it's only got two in there. Okay. Uh, I want this one. I want one out. Confirm. See what it looks like. Oh, it's on the side, really. And what is that? Is that ten thousand? Yep, that's ten thousand liters. Oh, I wish I could do this in real life, don't y'all? All right, here we go. We're at three eleven, three oh six. Twenty-two thousand four thirty-eight, folks, for a bale of cotton. Times that about, I, I, I don't know really. Um, can we, is it this one? No. Um, created bales today is 18. I think we've done like 120 something bales all together. I wish they kept the cotton bales separate from the, uh, the hay and silage bales. That would have been awesome. Alright, oh, oh. This guy here. We gotta stop him. We're gonna turn that off. Alright folks, that's that's pretty much it. And now we gotta do is get all the bells off the field and and uh yeah, when the price gets up there just a little bit more. Let's see here, did Oh that would be the auto save, come on, there you go. Cotton. Uh, cotton sit on the station it's still same price 
so uh, we know we can't sell it there and I bet we can't sell it there I don't know about here and here that I just don't know so we, we're going to sell it here regardless because that's you know we're not losing too much maybe it'll go up um, also I did get another contract on field 27 fertilizing which hey I already showed y'all that didn't I um, let's see here Try, I'm trying to think before we go what I need to show y'all Oh, yeah, he's in this corner. Okay, let's go ahead and get him started back. I probably should have done a course play or something on this guy. My one's back on up to the back. Oh, wow, we're 37 minutes in. Uh, folks, we're just... Uh, I'm going to finish this in the next episode. I'm going to try to get all the cotton bales off that field into the storage or get the storage as full as I can and see what's left. So we can start doing field work on that field. At least get the cotton stalks mowed and stuff like that. All right. Hire worker. And folks, yeah, yeah, I have. Um, don't forget. Christy Nicola, go down and check her out along with the other ones in the links down there. Don't forget my can crusher, my camera light. And folks, y'all, if y'all need, hit that red button, please. It helps out a lot, especially my likes is off just a little bit. So one or two of y'all is not hitting the like button. You might be just forgetting. That's fine. If you do, it's too. If you don't, you don't. But anyway. And don't forget to share me. I, I'm back to 599 as of recording this, and I was wanting that 600 mark to grow a little bit more. Um, I think I'm gonna put the live streams off till like middle May to end to middle May to June, somewhere in there, because I'm working on a, a map that I think y'all would like, and uh, it's gonna be no man's land. I'm just trying to get the thumbnail stuff right for recording or live streaming and remember how to do it so but anyway i'm rambling on folks y'all have a great day a blessed day and i will see y'all later bye